Good morning, folks. See you speaking again. I want to give a boost to uh, DU and Rodney before they come because uh, we encountered a problem yesterday. So the motors they received are 12 volt, exactly the ones they wanted. And uh, surely if we want to check the motor, it's not a big deal. We just have to hook up two wires from the supply. And when we energize it, motor is turning just fine, okay? So the motor is rated uh, 200 RPM. So it's about uh, three uh, revolutions per second. The motor is just fine. What is not fine is that we prepared already some wires and uh, we crimped the connectors, but the connectors won't fit. The terminal of the motor is a bit too large, okay? So, how we're going to solve the problem here? Uh, doing some soldering, okay? So, for the soldering, we're going to prep some insulations first. Let's say it's gonna be that long. We have two motors, so one blue, one red for each. That's it. So now we have the wires prepared on one side. We have a spade, but on the other side, we're going to solder some wire. That's it. So these ones are ready. This is for the second motor, one for the U, another one for Rodney. Just want to make them a little surprise before they come. So here is, now we strip the wires out, strip the wires out, okay. We have them already. We twist them a bit, put some paste just to help the soldering. Okay, so this is what we're going to do for all. And we also have the contacts on the motor itself with a bit of paste because sometimes the legs are oxidized okay so let's find out we put some solder on the contact so the contacts are going to be ready to receive the wiring. Okay. Now we do pretty the same for the wiring. We need one red and one blue for this motor. Perfect. So now we are going to just nicely solder the red on the contact. The red is done. Now the other one. We need the blue now. That's it. Okay. So once they are soldered, we put now the insulation over. And now, with the heating coming from the iron head and tip,
Okay. So, that's it. One motor is done. If you want to check it again, it's no biggie. I just have to connect the two alligators coming from the supply. We give it power. Turning fine, okay? Very good. So, one motor prepared. So that's how it's looking like, okay. We still have one more to do. This one is going to be pretty the same as the other one. We have the contacts of the motor with a bit of paste. exactly as we did for the other one okay now we put it in the device now we apply a bit of solder on the motor contacts Okay, and now the two wires. We prepare the wires. They need a bit of solder. Like this. One. And the other one. And now we solder. We have the red. It needs a couple of seconds to cool down. Now we need the blue. We do the same for the blue. So, it's a bit of solder. Okay, we solder the blue now. You won't take long. Okay, we do the same as for the other one. We put the insulation over. Now we stretch it. with the solder tip. Yeah. Just like that. We check the other one also. Just to make sure everything is fine. Power. See it? The motor is turning just fine. Very good. Job done. That's it. So now when they're going to come, they're going to find a surprise. <laughs>